Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen with Monarch Plans and today I am going to be doing my setup for my wellness planner for this upcoming year. And I know that these planners already started, um, but I'm just finishing up my um, setup in this planner. I wanted to get my like actual planners all set up before I dove into this one. So um, I have made a bunch of like printable kits and different things for this planner. Um, and I, first of all, I apologize for the glare on here. I know that there, there's a glare from my lights, but that'll be gone in just a second. But I made some different things for this planner um, to really help me track my wellness and some of my goals. So I'll be setting up the first um, couple pages in the planner. So I'll be going through and doing this page and the 12 boxes, and then I'll move back to the notes pages. Um, so up front in here, what I'm planning to do, and again, this is just a wellness planner, so I'm not going to be doing any like appointments or anything like that in here. It is just purely for my own wellness. It is a um, colorful vertical from Erin Condren. So that is um, what I try to use for my wellness because it's really easy to label the different sections for different things that I do want to focus on for my wellness. So that is why I chose this type of layout. But that being said, um, the setup I'm doing is definitely focused on like health goals. So um, if you want to set up a wellness planner or you just don't really know what to start, this might be a really helpful video. Um, I've just thought of some different ideas for things that I want to track and everything like that. And so hopefully this gives people some ideas for different things to do in their wellness planner. So what I want to start with and this is just gonna be a really simple setup, is I have just like this simple white piece of sticker paper. And I'm gonna stick it over here so it just covers up the 2021 or July 2021 through December because this planner is only a 12 month planner, it only goes through June 2021, so I don't need this. And what I'm wanting to do with this page is I want to track the dates where I hit um, like special milestones or what um, some people like to call them as like NSVs, um, like non-scale victories. So I want to track those in here. And what I'll be doing is I'll be using um, transparent dot stickers, which I have from Erin Condren. Um, I will link things down below that I talk about or that I mention. Um, so you can use the links or do research or whatever to um, find similar supplies. And sorry, I was putting this on and realized it was not straight. So let me try and get this a little bit straighter. I feel like that's still not totally straight, but that is okay. Honestly, it does not have to be perfect because it's white. Obviously, it is like a little bit see-through. Sticker paper tends to be that way, or at least this type of sticker paper does. So um, that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me because what I'll be doing is I'm going to um, like hand letter something that says like non-scale victory, or I'll print off a label or something like that that says non-scale victory. And from there, what I'll do is I will put one of the little transparent dots on one of the dates or whatever date is an important date, whether or not it's like, oh, I hit a certain like weight milestone or I lost a certain amount of inches or I was able to run a mile, you know, anything like that. Um, I'll mark that with like a color and of like transparent dot sticker. And then I would like to put the date over here and like what I am marking. So that's pretty much all the setup I'm doing right now um, is just putting this here. And then at some point I will write in like non-scale victory or something like that. So this was very simple, but I'm really excited because I just want a spread where I can celebrate like my victories and really focus on like seeing my milestones and seeing the progress because I think it's really easy to get kind of discouraged on some you know, health journeys, especially like if you feel like your progress is stalling, I think it's really important to look at things that like aren't dependent on the scale, first of all, and then see, you know, just other kind of like happy things that are happening. Long story short, that's what this is going to be used for. This page, and this is an idea um, I've seen a few people decide to do, which I I'm not sure who originally did it. I think more recently I've seen Sherry's plans um, do it in her planner, but I'm not sure if 
if it was something I'd seen it before so I'm I don't know who came up with it originally I would love to give them credit um, but I am going to put in um, these little measurement boxes so I'd like to keep track of measurements um, on my chest arms waist belly hips and legs and so like waist is at my belly button or like a little bit higher belly is like a couple inches below my belly button um, and then hips and legs I mean self-explanatory but um, I'll be putting these in and what I'm going to do is measure at the beginning of the month and then the end of the month so then I can see kind of what differences there are so let me put those in and then on the other side so these will go on one side of the box and then on the other side I'll be putting these little scales um, so then I can take my little weekly weigh-ins and that should be good so I'm getting my measurements and my weigh-ins so let me stick these in I'm going to speed through this because it can be a little bit boring but um, I'll be right back in just a second Okay, so I got the measurement stickers put in there as well as the monthly stickers. I wanted to get those in and now I will just be putting in the little scales. Um, I will be flipping back and forth a little bit because I need to know how many weeks are actually in the month. I'm just planning to weigh in on the same day each week. So um, I'll speed through that again, but I just want to make sure if there's five weeks, I'm putting in five scales. If there's four, I'm putting in four. Um, I'd rather not you know, like waste stickers or waste space. So that is what I will be doing. So um, just bear with me. I will speed through that again and then I will be right back when I have this whole thing done. Okay, so here is the spread completely done. I have all my scales in. I have four in the months where there are four weeks and five in the months where there are five weeks. So I have that all figured out. Um, I'm super excited about this. I think that this looks so good. I'm so happy with how these measurement box boxes turned out just because they're the perfect size. Um, I was a little bit worried that they would just like be overlapping and look a little weird. And then it's always hard to match the monthly colors so I'm really glad that everything matched pretty much perfectly so I am super happy with this page I cannot wait to start filling it out I'll have to go July through December and then this will be 2021 so it's a little bit backwards but I wanted everything to match the monthly colors um, of the actual month so that's just how it's going to go um, that's okay with me it doesn't bother me but that is just something I wanted to let you guys all know. That's why I started with January on this side and then July on this side. So let's move into, I'll move into the notes pages in the back, but really quickly, I am going to take a look at the dashboard and let you guys know kind of what I'm planning on doing with this. I think that um, the month page, I don't necessarily have a, a big use for it at this point. Um, I usually do all my tracking on my weekly pages, so the month page isn't necessarily the most important to me in these planners or in my wellness planner. Um, what I'll probably do is on this page, this notes page before the month, I think I will do like a monthly um, like preview on half of it and then like a monthly review on the other half. So like before the month starts, I'll go in and say, this is what I'm hoping for the month. These are my plans, these are my goals. And then at the end of the month, I will go through and I'll say, this is how the month was. This is what I accomplished. This is what I want to do, or maybe focus on next month. So it's just kind of like a good way for me to kind of come into the month and then get out of or go out of the month, um, being mindful of like my wellness goals. And then on the dashboard, I think I'll have a few goals here written. Um, 
I'm not quite sure here. I might just do like different, um, like different tasks I want to get done or different things I want to try. I don't know. This will just be kind of like general notes. Um, I'm sure it'll evolve at some point um, into something more specific. I think it would be very interesting here to like track my weight, which I've done that before. Um, I've just labeled each of these dots as a different day of the month. And then I graphed my weight every day and saw kind of how it fluctuated. Um, so that was really interesting. So I might try and do that each, um, each month on this section. And then over here is where I will print out my weekly progress pics with my HP sprocket. And so there'll be like four pictures, um, maybe five if there's five weeks. And so I'll be able to see some progress. So that is what I'm planning to do here. I know it's kind of open-ended on this side at this point, but I'm sure things will get to be a little bit more specific as I get into using the planner. In terms of how I'm using the actual weeks, at some point I'll do a plan with me in my um, wellness planner so you can see exactly how I set up my weekly spread for my wellness planner. Um, let's get back to the back of the book to the actual notes pages. And I will be setting these up and I have made a bunch of like printables um, for different things that kind of coordinate. So what I will do, and this one will look a little bit familiar. This is my weight loss tracker. I put this in my regular life planner, but I am putting it also in this planner. Um, and actually I'm going to wait on that and I'll put the washi on the top first. Um, but this is my wellness planner and it, I don't mind like duplicating anything. I honestly don't think it's that hard to write like a date or anything, but I think that it's important to have that in this planner because I will be keeping this and like looking back on it. So it's just something I wanted to have in here as well as in my life planner, which is usually with me and a little bit more handy. So I can always like look at it. So I kind of wanted to have it in both places. So there's the top washi. Let me put in the actual tracker itself. Um, I think I'll just put it like up against this. I wanna make sure it's like actually up against the washi. Okay, so there's that. I just made it on my computer and printed it on sticker paper because um, I'm awful at drawing boxes um, is the main thing. So I didn't wanna have to draw a bunch of boxes, um, but essentially I'll just be putting in um, like the number of pounds this represents. So this could really be any number of pounds. It could be two pounds per box, one pound per box, whatever you want it to be. Um, but I'll be putting in my starting weight, my goal weight, and my start date. And then at different points in time, I'll write in my rewards that I want to give myself for reaching, um, you know, each of these. So essentially, I think I'll do like one pound increments. And so each time I lose five pounds, I'd like to reward myself with something. So um, I'll be putting in my rewards. And then when I achieve those rewards, I will put in like the date that I achieved that, um, that reward. So there is that. And then on the other side of the page, I want to put in a coordinating header. And this one won't really have anything else to it. It'll just be the header for this point because... I will be decorating it a little more at some point, but this one is just for health goals. Um, I just have this washi that I would like to put on. Um, and this is just like different things I want to focus on like other than the scale. So instead of like focusing purely on like, I wanna lose 40 pounds. I think this is 40 pounds. Um, like I want to uh, be able to run like a 5K or something like that. Like that's what I wanna focus on. So these coordinate, I really like how they kind of match each other and then I'll just put in my goals. I'll probably decorate, maybe put some motivational stickers. Um, so this is pretty much a blank slate, but that's what this page is gonna be. This will be, um, I have a spread that is for 5,000 daily steps. So it's where I can mark off all the days that I hit 5,000 steps, which is my goal, 
which I know for some people is very low. Um, at some point I might change it to 10,000, which, you know, hopefully that's good. And actually I need to reprint this. I didn't even realize that it printed the little um, square on there from my silhouette. So I'll put this in, but I will reprint this and put it back in. Of course, I noticed that stuff like when I'm putting this stuff in my planner. But I was in a big hurry making this stuff over the weekend. I was just like in a like super focus putting this stuff together. So that's okay. Um, and then again, I have another like large sheet that I'm putting in. I'll put it up against the washi. I feel like it's hard to get it exact. It's fine. So as you can see, this one is, um, it's just boxes for each of the months. So we have Jane or July. Yeah, July. I was like, wait a minute. Um, July, August, September, October, November. I totally didn't even realize that spells out Jason. Um, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So that goes with like the planner itself because this is like a, J a July start. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some washi on the bottom just to add more color because this is like a bland page a little bit. So there is that. Okay. Like I said, I'll reprint that. That really annoys me that I did that, but you know what? It's okay. Sometimes you make mistakes. Um, and then this next page, I did not make that same mistake on this one. Um, it is similar, but I am going to be marking off a um, hundred miles. So I will show you exactly what that looks like, but I'm essentially doing like a hundred miles and seeing how long it takes me to get to a hundred miles. And then at some point I might do like 500 miles or something like that. I have some extra notes pages in this planner. Um, I'm just not using all of the notes pages at this point. So I can always like redo this and make it like 500 miles or do another 100 miles. But you can see here that what this is, is a tracker with like a start date and an end date or like a finish date and it's essentially when you start this and then um when you reach 100 miles so if i walk like five miles in one day i'm going to color in five squares if i only do one I'll only color in once so then i can see how long it takes me to walk 100 miles um, I just always kind of wondered that and did never really calculate it and wasn't really focused on it. Now I'm pretty determined. So I feel like hopefully it won't be that long. Um, but I think this would be kind of interesting. And then, as I mentioned, I can always make this into like 500, you know, or something like that and make each of these like five miles, whatever. So, um, there is that. And then like the other side, I'm going to do a strip of washi on the bottom just plain colored, um, this like peach color. And that is good for this page. And then finally, this is the last spread I'll be doing. I am doing Apple Watch challenges. I have an Apple Watch and um, also I would like to list out the recipes I'd like to try. So on this page I'll do recipes. Um, it's just gonna be simple I don't have like a way to break it out at this point in terms of like organizing things so that'll come a little bit later but I wanted to put the washi in and then I'll be just like updating this as I see things like on Pinterest or as I th see things on Instagram um, so there's recipes to try and then um, I will do a little yellow washi on the bottom And then finally on this other side is where I'll do the Apple Watch challenges. So over here, I'm gonna put the washi on and then I, I'm not sure if you are familiar, but with Apple Watches, every month you get like a special challenge. 
um, that your watch will give you. And it just has like a special little like objective. Like it'll say, you need to hit your stand goal um, like 40 times, or not 40 times this month, but like um, 14 times this month to, to meet your goal or to um, like get your trophy or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I made a little tracker that just has like little months. It essentially looks really similar to the 12 boxes, but it's all just like on one page. So you can see this here. Um, and so I will be writing in the challenge that my watch gives me. And I know this goes January to March. It just makes more sense to me. I feel like it just gets confusing when I start with July. So I'll fill in July through December and then go back and do January through June. Um, and then I have space for other challenges because sometimes your watch will give you other challenges to do. Like there's International Yoga Day um, and like other things for holidays. So that's another spot where I can write different challenges that I've completed. And similar to my other page, I have this little teal one teal strip of washi and that is it for my notes pages in the back of this I feel like I may come up with other ideas um, of like wellness things that I'd like to do maybe like yoga challenges the other thing I was thinking is possibly printing out um, like smaller calendars or that actually might be what I use the actual like monthly views for is if I do end up doing like a structured workout program, like if I end up doing beach body on demand or something like that, um, I can write in like the schedule for what the program is requiring for workouts and everything. But I just have a couple extra pages. So there's always room to like add more stuff. I don't have any plans for my contacts page or my 2022 at a glance just because I don't know there's really nothing I can think of for wellness that I would need those for so that is what I have so far for well my wellness planner and like I said I will be going through and I will do an actual plan with me in my weekly view at some point so you can see exactly how I use it and what I track every single week um, so if you have any questions about like a dedicated wellness planner or anything like that just let me know I just find it gives me so much more accountability to write down what I have going on in terms of like my exercise and my food and everything like that. It's just like an extra layer of accountability. And then there are some weeks where you do amazing and there's other weeks that aren't as great. And it's always really helpful when you're looking to get back on track um, that you can look back at those great weeks and see exactly what you did, what you ate, how you exercised and um, you know, maybe try and replicate that to get back on track. So that's why I really love having a wellness planner and I'm really, really excited to get started in here. So again, if you have any questions, just let me know if you do have your own wellness planner and there's like other notes pages that you have set up and you really enjoy them, let me know. Cause as I mentioned, I have empty notes pages in the back of my planner. So I would love to add new things, different ideas. If you have them, um, really I'm open to anything. So Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, and again, comments or questions, just let me know. If you did find this helpful, um, if you could like this video, that'd be great. If you're not subscribed already, if you could pr press the subscribe button, that would be awesome as well. Um, and if you are subscribed, if you could hit the notification button to turn on notifications, that will let you know when I am posting videos. So, um, with that, I think we are all good to go and I will jump into using this this week. I'm super excited. So I will talk to you later. Bye.